Hello, sweet souls. Happy Sunday. It is February 25th. It's going to be your full-length reading on TikTok and YouTube. Um, I will exceed the 10 minutes, so follow me on YouTube. Watch the remaining of the reading. Um, you can find all of my information in the link tree of, of the bio of TikTok in order to schedule a private reading with me. Um, also, I'm running a 20% special for new clients. So you have to email me to schedule that. And if you're interested in astrodipity, finding love or companionship, it's an astrology-based dating site that aligns compatible partners through Synastry. Free for the month of February to new clients. You can check that out as well. So I have already prayed. We're going to start this reading with the Celtic Cross. So let's see. Holy Spirit, Holy Angel, Saints, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors for the Collective. Uh, current situation for the collective. Current situation. Challenge. Um, need to focus. The collective need to focus on. Wow. I love how that came out. I'll tell you guys in a minute. Your past for the collective past. Okay. Your strength. Okay. And near future. Advice. Environment. Hopes and fears. Potential outcome. Bottom deck, nine of wands. All right, so <clears throat> the first thing I'm seeing is your current situation. This can be you or this can be someone attached to your energy. Four of Cups, this is someone feeling discontent, feeling bored, um, you know, feeling like they missed an opportunity. This can also represent somebody that um, doesn't see the opportunity that's coming in for them, okay? But we'll have to clarify. The challenge, the challenge is a new investment. You know, investing in something new, having a new beginning, an offer. Okay, that can be the your energy or someone else's, but we'll know when we check it. Um, what you need to focus on, divine union. Came to the Queen of Pentacles. It came out just like that. Um, focus on divine partnerships, whether this is love, whether this is work, career. Always aligning with people that align with you, you know, that give equally to you that feel and think the same way you do, okay? That's soul unions. Uh, past energy, the truth was illuminated so clear to you that you had to take action, right? So I'm getting this is all about truth. You know, the sun can be happiness, joy, success, but this is like the truth just blew up right in your face in the past. And you couldn't look away from it. You, you're, you were forced to make a decision in the past. Um, near future, or sorry, the um, strength, you're resilient. You can carry that load. You've been carrying that load and you still haven't given up. It's your perseverance that that is your strength. Um, let's see, near future, we got Knight of Swords. Things picking up quickly. You taking action quickly. Something's changing quickly. Um, advice, take your power back, King of Wands. Go after what you're passionate about. Be fearless. Don't worry about anyone external to you. Do what it is you're called to do and, and make that your, your focus, all right? In the environment, Six of Pentacles. The, in the environment, people can see you're getting what's fair. You're getting what's due to you. The scales are being balanced. Um, with the... I forget what this one is. Hopes and fears. We got the Empress on the fence. I don't feel like this is you. Um, I feel like someone is fearing your, but your power and strength. This is someone that did try to block you and they're fearing because you are the Empress and they know it. Um, potential outcome, Nine of Swords. Somebody's going to be haunted. Somebody's not going to be able to sleep. They're definitely going to be mentally um, feeling confined and d emotional disrupt. This can be somebody feeling haunted as well, like in their home, like they're actually being haunted. So <clears throat> let's clarify these cards. All right. In the environment, 
Four of Cups, discontent, boredom, a missed opportunity. Please clarify the Four of Cups. Yeah. This is Six of Cups on the fence. This is the past person. This is the past person that has done everything to interfere and is unable to. And so they're really... I gotta put this down a little bit, guys, because I can't see. They're really upset. This is someone that is haunted by the memories of the things they've done. They know they have ruined their life and there's nothing they can do about it. So with the challenge, Page of Pentacles. Please clarify the Page of Pentacles. Yeah. This offer is a challenge because this person from your past wants to give an offer and they're still holding on to you. It's a challenge for them because this person knows exactly what they did to you. And why would anybody in their, in their right mind want to go back to someone that is this abusive, this toxic? Okay. So what you need to focus on, divine partnerships, whether it's romantic, business, love, um, career, whatever. Okay. You need to focus. King to the Queen, sorry, of Pentacles. I dropped one. The Fool. A brand new leap of faith. Focus on manifesting this partnership. And you're going to have it. It's coming in. You're going to take a brand new leap of faith with a partner that is completely aligned with you. Strength. Now, uh, past, we got enlightenment. Massive awareness and enlightenment. Past energy. <clears throat> Sorry, it's too many. Just give me one more than nine cups. One more than nine cups. Yeah. So with this enlightenment, God showed me, showed you that the your wishes weren't in the past. That in order for you to receive the this wish fulfillment and the star energy, right? In order for you to receive this, you had to take action. You had to cut out something from the past based on the awareness, the truth and clarity that you received. So that's what you did. All right. Your strength, the Ten of Wands, you are resilient. You are resilient and you're moving on regardless of what wands, what, what burdens somebody has sent your way. You are moving on, making plans for the future. All right. Um, let's see. Near future, we have the Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords. High Priestess. Yeah, things are picking up for this High Priestess energy for you. Someone that's tapped in, divinely protected. Someone that's spiritually gifted and spiritually protected. It's beautiful. Things are going to change for you quickly. Advice, King of Wands, go after what you're passionate about. Take charge. Uh, be a leader. King of Wands. Yeah, good news is coming. When you make the commitment to take inspired action, to follow your passions and dreams, good news will come in. And the environment, Six of Pentacles. Wow. And the environment, people can see... The scales of justice are being balanced and that you have the Ten of Cups. If you don't, it's coming. Or this is what they believe, but I do believe it's coming. Ten of Cups, complete emotional fulfillment, a happy home, a happy life. You know, it's beautiful. All right, hopes and fears, the Empress on the fence. Yeah. Someone that tried to use dark magic or manipulation is heavy in regret because you are still the Empress. No matter what they have done, they have massive regret for it, but no matter what they've done, they cannot. Your strength, your power, you know, your protection is too strong for this person. It's too strong. Near future, Nine of Swords. I don't believe that the Nine of Swords is your energy. Near future, Nine of Swords, Nine of Swords. Wow. Can you give me another one for that, Nine of Swords? Twice. Who is this, please? Eight of Swords. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, okay, I get it. This is that past energy that, that wants to give an offer but knows what they've done. We get Nine of Swords twice. They are in hell. I mean, this, is, this feels like a mental hell, mental prison. They're trapped. Um... There is no forward movement in their life. There is nothing. This could be financial loss. You are in your power. 
and this person has been fighting you, wanting to win at all cost. You're not even paying attention. You're not even looking at what this person's doing. You're just moving on. You're unconcerned and unbothered by this person's, you know, mind games, mental issues. This person's, something's wrong with their mind, honestly. So let's just see. I know what we're going to call this reading. You've got the power. That's what just popped in my head. That's what it's going to be. You've got the power. All right. Let's see what else we get, guys. And I really, literally just rolled out of bed. Because I'm going to be gone today, so I wanted to do your reading early. Let's do uh, letters and signs. Remember, if you're, you're your person's letter or sign uh, doesn't come out, doesn't mean it's not for you. It's just somebody needs extra clarification, okay? Who is this reading about? Please, Holy Spirit, Holy Angel, Saints, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors. Who is this reading about? Bottom of the deck, Aquarius. <clears throat> We have the letter J, Gemini, B, Libra, N, F, A, Scorpio, D, Q, R, Sag. <clears throat> we have Capricorn, the letter O, M, G, P, Pisces. All right, guys. Let's see what else we can get. I'm just going to pull a few from the Kepper deck. So, collective need to be aware, please, for the collective. Holy Spirit, Holy Angel, Saints, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors. You are this privileged lady. Um, you're going to see a change in your occupation. You have been hard at work. Uh, I do feel elevation things. Either you be get, you becoming more known, um, getting more clients, whatever. But it's tied to your occupation. Yeah, we do see a community uh, falling apart here. There's a message going around. And it could have to do if you have online work or energy projection, but it's tied to a community, a community that's falling apart. Yeah, there's change occurring. Yeah, this is also tied to someone from your past, mature man in reverse, that's fallen from grace. So this mature man in reverse, community in reverse, they are linked, they are tied, and it, it feels like this was an action that this, Emperor in reverse energy took against you and your occupation. If you have online work, that's changing. Something's about to change. It doesn't even have to be online work. It can be any type, type of job, and this can be energy projection. Yeah. So we see divine partnership, family room, a stable home, stable life, happiness. This is you calling this in then we see a karmic masculine being exposed for a thief and they could go to prison or this can be a mental prison but they're definitely being held accountable because they tried to interfere with your gift yeah there's an expectation here now with the courthouse justice will be served it, maybe this could be your expectation that you know Karma will play out. You know that. So, yeah. And then we see this house with this karmic couple in it that comes out all the time. Your pathway is clear regardless of the actions this couple has taken. Your pathway is clear. You are on a new journey. A new journey to wealth. That's beautiful. All right, let's see. Let's see what else we get, guys. Let's do the moonology. Truth and only truth. 
for the collective. What does the collective need to be aware of, please? Collective need to be aware of, please. It's time to release negativity. People, places, things, thoughts, whatever. Anything negative has to go right now. I think that came out yesterday. Whoops. For the collective. Hold your vision. Focus on what it is you want to create in your life. You know, imagine it, feel it, be grateful for it. Your commitment is being tested. All these trials and tribulations, you know, you've been tested to see, are you going to move forward? Are you going to release what doesn't serve you? Or are you going to go back to what, what you're used to, which was toxic? Confidence is the key to your success. Don't be afraid of failure. Just take the leap of faith. Be confident in who you are and what your intuition guides you to do, okay? And then we have a new romantic cycle begins. We did get the king and queen of pentacles. So that's justice for you. Take time to breathe out. They said, you know, surrender your stress, your worry. Some of you may need to do breathing exercises, but really I'm getting, you know, surrender everything. Yeah, because they want you to meditate. They want you to meditate. If you're feeling stress, get grounded and meditate, okay? Get more connected. The end of the t of a tough cycle is approaching. And you are good enough. They want you to know. You are good enough. A time to give rather than take. You're about to receive. This says new moon in Virgo. We just had the full moon in Virgo. The, the universe wants to bless you now, okay? You've passed your test. And the universe wants to bless you. And that's what I'm getting. That's beautiful. Let's do the energy oracle. Healing energy oracle real quick. No, no. I'll do that on the next video. We'll do this one. Wisdom of the Hidden Realms. The collective. What does the collective need to be aware of, please? This says hitting the mark, intention and detachment. Yeah, you're on the right path. They're saying you're hitting the mark. You got it. You know, you got it. I just heard you got it. <clears throat> you fight. You figured it out. Uh, circuitous route, perception. This spiral dancer. I feel like this is you like going with the flow, using your intuition, seeing things from a different light, okay? Um, yeah, we ha you have a sacred union coming in, and then you got this obsessed ex-lover trying to get in your energy because they know you have a real divine union, a real divine partnership, someone that will treat you the way they could never treat you, and they know it, and they're obsessed, and they're in your energy, but... Yeah, the word lord. This is a lot of communication. This person may be talking about you. There may be communication going on around it. Uh, what they're talking about is you, the swan queen. Transformation, intuition, and patience. That you are this beautiful, pure energy. You have this beautiful light in you. Whether you're a man or a woman, it doesn't matter. So people are starting to recognize you for who you are. Regardless of the slanderous words anyone from the past has said about you. Yeah, the dream walker. People are seeing through the illusions. It says it on the card. Dreams, um, the collective good, and illusions. I feel like people can see the goodness in you. They can see the good things that are happening in your life. And they are starting to see through the illusion of the lies that were spread. Yeah, the high lady of love and compassion. It says uh, kindness, con reverence, kindness, and confidence. That's what... The community is seeing that they attack someone that's good and loving and kind. And then this says, camel boy, small steps and asking for help. They just said, you know, it takes time. It's one step at a time. Be patient, okay? Call on your guides. Call on the angels for assistance. They're there for you. Gaia's garden. It says fruition, abundance, reaping what you sow. Yeah, 
it's coming in for you. That's beautiful. Yeah, the bottom of the deck says the rainbow prince, compensation and perseverance. Yeah, that's you. You are perseverant. You will be compensated. The divine wants to come in and, and bless you now because you have been so perseverant, okay? Which is beautiful. Um, all right, guys, I love you. We'll go into part two, or this is going to be part two. It'll be a separate video. We'll just see what we get, but I love you, and I hope you guys have an amazing day. Bye-bye.